Well, today is the 22nd. Nice blue sunny skies. First one off the shuttle crossing the dam breast. This dam was authorized December 1941, shortly after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, as part of the War Act that dealt with securing America's interests for manufacturing and power. The width of the dam is a half a mile. It's 480 feet tall. It was constructed in just under 36 months at the time of its construction. It was the fourth largest dam in the world and currently it is the largest dam east of the Mississippi. So we're going to cross the bridge, walk up uh, the AT path, and we'll be entering the Smoky National Park in just 10 minutes or so. It's uh, 9.30, dropped my permit in the box. There's a few people out. Walking the trail, I'm sure there'll be more. What you end up doing is after you cross the dam, you walk uh, a half mile or so up uh, Park Road, and you come to a block, block road at that point with trail information. You turn left, go up there about 30 feet. And there's the drop box. So I'm sure as we get up in higher elevations, we'll see a little more snow. Well, I'll be been hiking since nine. It's now eleven. I believe there's a fire tower up on top of that ridge, and that's where we're heading. Eleven thirty, still climbing. Just hit my first water source after two and a half hours. Snow's deeper after we've climbed uh, two thousand feet or so. It's been mostly uphill the whole time. This is probably the third exception where. Got a slight downhill. Pretty views. And a couple hikers up ahead of me. I'll bet I've had at least 14 people pass me today, so I'm not hiking too fast. And I believe right down in there is the lodge where we stayed. I didn't go up the fire tower. That was an extra couple hundred yards. I basically had good views. <laughs> this is what I'm walking in. This is basically snow drift. Snow, not accumulation. But it's 14, 16 inches, I'm guessing. It's pretty out and it's quiet. I saw some deer tracks this morning and heard some birds. That was about it. So we'll keep on moving.
It's four o'clock. I reached the top of the ridge and this is a welcome site. The Mollage Ridge Shelter. Today we started at an elevation of 1853 and climbed up to 4520 which was a gain of 2764 feet and then I descended down to 3842 and then climbed back up to 4585 so it's been a long day and the legs are kind of shot I have gotten uh, Hanes socks and the tube socks are we having fun yet? Too much fun. No. Doesn't sound too enthusiastic. <laughs> well, good morning. It's day two in the Smokies. Yesterday I passed Zoomer. Zoomer was a female real quick hiker that I did an interview on uh, on the last post. Zoomer has quit the trail. She has lost her desire and I guess she's heading home. She was from Canada. Uh, last night I was next to last to get into the shelter. Uh, eight and around dark we had all turned in you know uh, hiker midnight and somebody came in and there was a spot left next to me and they rolled out their sleeping bag didn't even eat supper and went to sleep well that turned out to be uh, the lady that I had been hiking with a few days back. Uh, her name, her trail name is Buttercup. And uh, I think she was in the trail under too. Uh, last night it was really windy. There are tarps in front of the shelter and they were whipping back and forth like sails cracking and making all kinds of noise. So it was hard to get any kind of restful sleep. I was kind of chilly at night. What I did was I took my water bottle and put it in a plastic bag along with my shoes and stuffed them into the toe of my quilt so they wouldn't be all froze up in the morning. There were other people that don't know about that trick and they had frozen shoes and boots this morning to deal with uh, but it's a bright sunny day there are three shelters that I can possibly stay at today I think the first one's mile three in now there may be around seven and one around 12. So hoping uh, for the 12. Yesterday was you know, a good five hours of nothing but uphill. And my legs are really tired. So today they're feeling pretty good. Keeping the sunglasses on so I don't get snow blindness, you know. All right. I'm not blind. <laughs> so see you on down the trail. It's one o'clock, really not too many views today. It's gotten overcast. I've passed two shelters and my destination for tonight is five miles away up in that mountain somewhere. So we gotta keep hiking so we can get there by 4.30, five o'clock.
Well, this is our last view for the day. There might be one up by our shelter, but don't know yet. That's where we're going. We're getting up near the top. This is my view. I can probably see out five or six ridges. Sorry for the uh, no daylight or sunshine. But that's today in the Smokies. I'll head on over to the shelter. It is 5.35. I've made it to the shelter. That's somewhere around 15 mile day. I tell you, the trail conditions were not normally muddy like this. What they were is like a sidewalk that gets packed down with snow and then it freezes. And then the next day it gets walked on some more and it refreezes. That's how it was. Very slippery. You had to use your poles to break going downhill. So it was slow going for me. Hopefully there's a place to sleep. Hey. Hey. <coughs> There's a few familiar faces. <laughs> documenting our misery. Yeah. The third day on the trail got started at 9, 10. And uh, it rained last night. Temperatures right now are about 45. It's a little easier walking because some of the ice has turned to slush, but it's still slippery. So not much to report, so going to keep on trucking. Well, I'm at the Double Spring Shelter at elevation 5486. Nothing to report today, no views anywhere. It's all one ridge runner. And that's the blaze for getting back out of here. 441 is closed in North Carolina due to icy roads. So we're going to see about getting into Gatlinburg at some point. Hopefully the roads are passable. River Guide out. It is 10 of 9. Last night it just poured buckets all night long. It's still windy. As you can see by the snowpack, that rain has knocked uh, the volume of snow down by about two thirds. It's still foggy. Someone was trying to peek through a little bit ago. Right now we're walking through the hemlock forest uh, that's part of the shelter we stayed at. Heading to Clingman's Dome which is about two miles away. Don't know if we'll have any views. We'll figure that out when we get there. I want to show you what today's walk has been like. Thank you. 
was up to the AT for him. So. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, I just got the AT up for him. So we came up to the end of the floor. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it goes down there and then you get right. Okay. Down. <laughs> Coming down off Clingman's Dome, there were streams of water, slush three inches deep, bringing out the socks didn't do anything. I just passed the guy, he uh, said these are the worst trail conditions he's ever hiked in. And he gave up trying to keep his feet dry. This is relatively easy section because a little higher up uh, what we had was some packed slush and you, know, you step off and you, you go right down into three inches of slush sometimes in the water just goes right into your boot but we got to get through this without out to 441 so we can hit Gatlinburg. Hopefully dry out all this stuff. Uh, so right now, it's around one o'clock and I'm four miles roughly from Newfound Gap. Route 441 it will bring me into Gatlinburg. Looks like they changed all these logs and knocked uh, the tops off to make a kind of a flat surface. Walking has improved a bit here in the lower elevation, but the sun never did come out. It's still cloudy. Uh, relatively no wind today just extremely wet conditions and it's all downhill from here i just want to give you a little idea of how thick these woods are you really can't step off trail very far And if you were to try to stealth camp, you might lose your tent if you didn't count your steps. If you had to get up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom. But you see how a lot of these trees are just four to six inches in diameter. The real, real big ones. A lot of them have fallen over. There's a pretty good size one. That's probably 20 inch. So we're going to keep on trucking. Just reached my first fence crossing. Uh, this was put in in 1984 to try to prevent wild hogs from invading this part of the park. My first wildlife for a while. All right, well, we just got picked up from the Gap on 441 by this nice lady and your name? My name's Tina. Um, I have been dubbed Smoky Mountain Angel um, for up here from some of the previous through hikers. So. I'm on YouTube as Smoky Mountain Angel. Great. And Tina brought us down into Gatlinburg, and we're going to go find a room and something to eat. And you're hoping to be on the trail next year. Absolutely. I'm going to be one way or another. I just don't know when yet. You guys have scared me with all the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go right. that early. Well, thank you for your kindness and for you're the welcome. trail magic. No problem. Right. My pleasure.